I um, pretty much I somebody requested this uh, video one of my friends on Facebook a video so I figured might as well put it on YouTube um, it is the Japan crate um, it is the premium um, I do want to apologize in advance that I kind of already ate like five of the stuff that came in it and honestly this is not the one that I ordered it was the one the dookie dookie cream like the that one it's kind of like the girly version um, it's not really the food it's really more of like little cute knickknacks uh, stationery um, collectible little cute collectibles or like little teddy bears or little purses I've seen like examples but I really subscribe for the month of May I forgot what <laughs> month it was but May was um, Hello Kitty and Sailor Moon and I am a fan of Sailor Moon because it was like the first anime I ever watched as a kid so that feels like it's a classic and I have as I tell by one of my posters in the back um, but yeah, so let me just do a quick video of what's in here so far, and I'll show you the the booklet that comes with it that's really actually useful. Um, I guess I'll go first with what's actually left in here. Um, this one is potato, regular potato chips. It's just potato chips. I thought it was sour cream and onion because of the little like spices on it, but it says it's regular potato chips. Um, that's one of the first ones I could pick up. Uh, this one is Caramel Corn. I'm guessing it's supposed to be candy. And it literally says on the the book that it reminds you of like Cheetos because it had shaped and clustered. So I never tried it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I didn't try it yet. So, but that's pretty much like, I guess like what do you think of like kennel corn type deal? Um, here's one that's open that I haven't finished. Oh no, there's so much in here. Pretty much, you remember, you remember as a kid, like you had like Pop Rocks? Well, this is pretty much what it is, but the Coca Cola version. Um, I guess since it's open, let me give you an example. <laughs> I'm sorry that you got to see my mouth, but it's pretty much like pop rocks like cut it with like pop rocks but not as hard as the rocks we would have in america um and they have like little white like marshmallows i thought those was marshmallows i didn't even know it was pop rocks so i put it in my mouth um this is one of the wrappers i feel like a horrible person i'm sorry but this is really good um it was pretty much like a cookie panda cookies with like vanilla and chocolate it like melted a little bit you could tell it melts because i guess it was hot chipping here of course um it's pretty much like regular vanilla cookies taste with like vanilla and fudge swirls with a panda's face and there was many there were like minis and it was really cute and delicious that was one of the panda cookies that came in the second panda cookie which i already ate it says cookies which is plural but really when you open it it's just one big like it's not even big it's like this big and it was a panda's face and it tastes like a regular vanilla cookie but it was really thin and i'm sitting here like your snacks of course you guys are so tiny it's so like little proportioned and i love how it says cookies but it's really a cookie um this is uh the pudding uh mixture how to make their pudding and honestly i'm gonna get the book now because there's a certain thing that's written about this particular pudding and i have, haven't made it yet obviously but i'm gonna get the book right now i'm sorry i don't have it next to me hold on just This is the booklet that comes with it. I'm sorry if you saw my butt. Um, my computer's not working, so or else I would edit and everything, but you're gonna see all the scariest of me. Um, pretty much, this is the booklet that comes in it. Uh, it says volume 11. Um, this is where you start, of course, if you read manga. You start right, left, not left, right. Um, it has the contents and stuff like that. And little manga, I guess they're kind of manga, that's in the first couple pages. And then it tells you 
any in this uh, I think the fifth page the mini what comes in the mini a uh, Japan crate the original and the premium is what I have which is everything and in this particular Japan crate it was the food one and the only non-food thing was the little cat in a cup and it's like a keychain with a cat in a cup so I'm just like when I really wanted Sailor Moon and like all that stuff so I was kind of really pissed but it was a good experience to try the food one I guess so I, it's not all bad I guess but yeah um another thing is when I go to work I have like this bento box and I eat proportioned foods so I kind of do the Japanese way of like eating how they eat because it does help and I lost a lot of weight that way um the thing I had yesterday was I don't know if you could see it but it's pretty much, uh, <laughs> forgive me, Machetito Kandako Muchi. <laughs> I know how to say Muchi, but um, pretty much it tells you the backstory of that snack. And pretty much it says the rabbit, uh, Tasuke no Hoichi, moon rabbit, he lives on the moon and often you see him pounding rice to make Muchi. However, it didn't always live on the moon. The full next story of Tatsuchi on the moon, usually an old man in the moon. Pretty much it's like... Supposedly somebody told me yesterday it was like a rice cake, I guess. It does have that rice cake taste, but it reminds me of a marshmallow. And like it's like really chewy and it has that rice taste. It doesn't really have a good sweet taste, but you can tell it's you know, kind of like white rice, I'm guessing. That's what it tastes like for that one. I'm sorry that I wish I made this video when I first got it. Um, the premium, that was the premium snack. And it tells you the premium uh, candy which is the honey candy, and forgive me, I'm not going to pronounce these words, but Hachimuchu, 100%, I'm sorry, um, you can tell I can't live there, I would like to, but I'm really bad at pronunciation, um, so it tells you the two, the two, uh, for that month that is special in the box, and it's candy, the honey candy, and the rice, like, treat thing, swishy marshmallow thing, um, and if there's other stuff in here that tells you, like, you know, promotions and contests you could join. It has little sections of, like, um, Japanese food. Like, little sections. I think it's a little useful. Learn Japanese at the bottom. Little, you know, some, some. Uh, it tells you what happens to me in Japan section. And, um, tells you how to make the jelly, jelly melon. Hey, that was actually jelly melon. I'm sorry, whatever I said earlier, ignore it to make this. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much what's in here. I'm gonna go back to the box, what's left in the box. Um, this, I'm guessing this is another cookie snack thingy my bob going on. And I will tell you exact of what it is, so I don't say thingy my bob <laughs> this whole time. Um, pretty much it is puku puku taiki koko. <laughs> I am so horrible at this. I'm so sorry if this is not helping you. This is review. Um, it refers to the sounds of the fish gulping. And it's a traditional fish-shaped dessert with usually served with warm red beans or other fillings in the center. It brings you the fun fish-shaped dessert but made of wafer with chocolate goodness in the middle. Ooh. <laughs> this will be good with ice cream, I think. Really good with ice cream. Um, came with grape soda. I love you guys because that's like my favorite grape soda and root beer um if I had to drink soda but I haven't so that's why I'm trying to be a good good noodle um comes to grape soda and it's uh says of course stuff in Japanese and they have like a sticker label of what the sodium and everything is in English which is pretty awesome for them to do that um they also had a big mushroom which is like mushroom big I mean <laughs> big marshmallow not mushroom I'm so sorry um they also had uh, a cola candy do you know like um <sighs> the, um, the airhead string thing you're out of control this the sugary airhead thing pretty much it was like that but not the rainbow it was just one string that was rolled up and it was strawberry sugar coated just one and one little tube and I'm just like this is what you guys eat for candy as one serving like wow we need to follow their example because we get like a whole thing my bob of like candy um 
Another thing that I have ate that is not in here is the one that's called Big Bars. Right here. Um, it is a white cocoa. It's a crunchy bar texture between the giant Kit Kat but soaked with delicate white chocolate. It says it doesn't disappoint. With me, personally, um, when I had it, when I first bought into it, I mean bought into it, bite into it, it was, I thought I was going to eat popcorn. It had this popcorn first taste and then after I started chewing it, I'm like, oh my god, it's like a good vanilla wafer like a cone like a vanilla like cone thing it tastes like that but it was really good it was more of a sweet thingy mabob to it um now yeah i actually didn't eat all of this stuff in here so i'm gonna show you what's left in the box and i'll finish this review um here's the honey candy it was talking about right here um maybe you would like for me to open it or maybe I should I don't know if, I don't think it's individual I don't want to open anything and I won't eat finish it and it'll get spoiled but it looks like pretty much like cough drops to me that's how it's supposed to look um here's the cookie cook cookie cookie and this one I'm just gonna tell you what it is real quick this one is the king's lost crown uh, the king's lost his crown. Lucky for you, it ended up in your crate in the form of a delicious cookie. Help him find his crown, or better yet, eat it. <laughs> I'm lame. Uh, so this is pretty much, I guess, the backstory to it, which is really cute how they have that, and it looks pretty delicious and it's pretty, pretty, pretty thick. Um, last but not least, what's left is gum. Um, this gum is a sour cider gum. Here's something for the sour candy lovers. Cider is a refreshing cola that is especially good for hot days. This gum is in past set flavor will fun a sour kick. With a fun sour kick, sorry. Woo. But pretty much gum. Um, this premium box was $30. And the reason why it was $30 is because I could cancel any time. If you pick any other options, you pay like a full amount of that many amounts, uh, months. And it would be cheaper that way by like a couple dollars or so. But I just wanted to try to see if I would like it. And I got the wrong crate. So I'm going to pay another $30 for next month to get the Doki Doki um, one. And I guess I'll do a review on that one. But this is what comes in the food. Like you'll just get food and snacks and candy and the booklet. And I'm sure maybe in the Doki Doki one that you would get the same thing about other than the food. You know what I mean? I think there's probably only one snack or one candy that would be in the girly one. Um, yeah, so I hope this review helped. Um, sorry about my room and the video and the quality and the lighting. Um, but I won't promise the next video will be as great, but I just figured this would probably help somebody who has an idea if they want to spend $30 on the premium. Um, that's what you get all these on the premium. Original, you get here and up. Mini, just here. And the mini's just uh, one potato chip, one, two, three, four, five. So, and all together for the premium, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen stuff for thirty dollars. Honestly, you guys must be like, you're crazy. They're just snacks. You could probably get a dollar, two dollars for each if you, you know, if you're pushing it. But I just really love their culture and I like experiencing different other cultures other than Jap Jap Japan sorry and Indian cultures I like different cultures other than America I'd like to try new things so um yeah I'm bragging or not bragging talking too much so I will end this video and I hope dropped it ha uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped for your decision to buy you could go on the site uh, just type in Japan crate on Google and I'm sure it'll pop up automatically and um, when you pick your crate, go to edit. This is my major mistake. And if you want the Doki Doki, go to edit and click that particular crate. Or else it'll get, send you the regular premium, which happened to me. So, bye!